Excellency Mr. Ramos de Armas, Secretary of State for the Environment of the Spanish Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Environment, Mr. Lopez Gonzalez, President of AIMED and Permanent Representative of Spain with WMO, Mr. Ivan Chacic, uh, President of Regional Association CIS for Europe of WMO, Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure to address you on the occasion of the presentation of the Operational Dust Prediction Centre for Northern Africa, Middle East and Europe. On behalf of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and on my own behalf, I wish to extend deep appreciation to Spain, its State Meteorological Agency, and the Barcelona Supercomputing Centre. Thanks to your efforts, an operational centre under the umbrella of WMO will prepare and distribute dust storms predictions over North Africa, Middle East and Europe to WMO members. This initiative meets a clear need. In many regions and countries of the world, sand and dust storms constitute a significant hazards in many respects. Model calculation indicate that about 50% of the total atmospheric dust mass originates from soils that are disturbed by cultivation, erosion, frequent shift in vegetation due to drought and rains, and especially deforestation. The implication of atmospheric sand and dust for human health are serious. It is estimated that two billion people living in arid zones are directly affected by sand and dust. The population living far away from the source region is exposed as well, to less extent. Health impacts include respiratory, and cardiovascular illnesses, eye infections, and also meningitis and valley fever. Other impacts include negative effects on ground transport, aviation, agriculture, and visibility. Dust is also a major component of atmospheric aerosol, an essential climate variable that influences the radiation budget of the Earth. Although the process is not yet fully understood, dust could also impact the dynamics of hurricanes and tropical cyclones and their formation. Moreover, essential minerals such as iron and phosphorus transported with atmospheric dust particles play an important role in fostering the productivity of rainforest and the ocean. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the request of 40 WMO members to improve their capabilities for more reliable sand and dust storm forecasts, in 2007, the WMO endorsed the establishment of a sand and dust storm warning advisory and assessment system. This initiative aims to improve forecasts of sand and dust storms by bettering observation technologies, enhancing research results, and facilitating access to forecast products. Currently, more than 15 organizations provide daily dust forecasts in different re geographical regions and to a variety of users. Indeed, the community of practice for sand and dust storms observation, forecast and analysis is diverse and it requires specific interfaces with users. The philosophy of the sand and dust storm warning advisory and assessment system is therefore to bridge between researchers, forecast providers and different user communities. For example, medical, aeronautical or agricultural users. WMO has a long tradition as a networker of scientific institutions and operational services, and it has been coordinating the provision of weather and climate services for decades. This is why the system was established as a federation of partners organized around regional nodes. At the moment, two nodes are in operation, providing services to Asia and to Northern Africa, the Middle East and Europe. A third node for the Americas is under establishment. With the endorsement of the Congress, WMO has accepted the offer of the Barcelona Supercomputing Center to host the first regional meteorological center specialized on atmospheric sand and dust forecasts. Significant experience has been acquired through the regional center for Northern Africa, Middle East and Europe, which has been in operation at AMED since 2010. This created the basis for the establishment of the consortium between AMED and the Barcelona Supercomputing Center that will significantly contribute to the production of excellence research and creation of specialized products for the end users. So in conclusion, I wish to reiterate the great appreciation of WMO 
for the support that AMET has been giving to many of its programs and activities. The services provided by the new prediction center will allow activating plants to mitigate the severe impacts caused by atmospheric dust on lives and properties in Northern Africa, Middle East and Europe. I wish you all a very productive and successful meeting and a nice day in Madrid. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.